Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, welcome to my gaming review of the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. I know, Sony likes to name the device in funky ways. I believe they should have just called this the Sony Xperia Mark II, but I digress. Well, the Xperia 1 Mark II is a unique device. It comes in with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, which I actually like, feels really comfortable to hold. Uh, this also is a device that has a dedicated camera button. As well so uh, because the camera is one of the biggest focus in this device and we'll have a separate video for you and I think this time it's time we get back to doing professional camera review with my buddy Marion Cell because this is the kind of phone that requires that kind of video but that being said though um, as I mentioned a dedicated camera button it's got a lot of features that also lend to gaming as well. You've got stereo speakers built in, you've got Dolby Atmos as well, um, and you've got a display resolution is 3840 by 1644. So, you know, they claim it's, it's a 4K display, but it's got a high resolution either way. Pixel density is really high at 643 PPI. So you've got a really nice, lovely looking OLED display. Now, Sony has a couple of modes within this display setting that gives you a, uh, uh, a great way to just view contents visually and quite prospectively. So you've got a standard mode, which allows you to also add uh, video image enhancements. You also have a creator mode that gives you the ability to look at content the way um, a creator wanted that content to be set. So you've got that there, especially for your games and of course your movie contents uh, as well. There's also motion blur, uh, and you, you've got a, d a display that also has some couple of cool settings. Now it's 60 hertz uh, in terms of display um, uh, screen, um, you know, refresh rate. But they've added a feature that allows that to function and feels really smooth while gameplay sessions. So that yeah, you know, uh, you can you can actually game well and properly. So without wasting any more time, let's check out PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, and of course, some Fortnite.
All right, so gaming on here is really solid. Snapdragon 865 processor, eight gigs of RAM, it's not a problem. You've got 265 gigabytes of storage. Everything runs smooth. Gameplay was hitch free. You could see the games ran well. In terms of that new feature that gives you just that better smoothness, it felt really smooth, especially just navigating the touch controls on the screen. So I would say whatever they did there didn't feel like it was 90 hertz to me, but it felt very smooth and fast. So I'll call it like a 75 in my mind either way. Now, the other thing to look at are temperatures. What are temperatures on this device? Well, temps are high, about 100, 101 degrees. There is no special cooling system. The one thing I'll say is heat is dissipated quite well. So when you're holding it, it doesn't feel as hot as that temperature reading is there on the device. So again, although the temperatures are much higher, I say it actually felt much better because heat was dissipated quite well around the device. Now, the other thing to note is that this device comes in with fast charging at 21 watts, wireless charging at 11 watts, but it's got a really cool feature that you will find within your game center or the game enhancements. So when you go into a game and we open up a game right here, let's say for instance, we're gonna open up say Call of Duty Mobile. We pull down our game center, which has like a drop down menu and you've got a couple of things in there. You've got, uh, you can change the menu type into a bar or a circle, like a PlayStation button, focus settings to turn off, of course, notifications, navigation bar and things like that. You've also got a um, search, screenshot and record options, record up to 1080p of your display. But you've got a game mode. Now the game mode allows you to set it to performance preferred, balance or battery life preferred to in increase the battery life. And mind, you've got a 4,000 milliamp battery and I'll say this battery has been great for gaming. So one thing, gamers will like is the HS power control. Now what this does, it doesn't charge the battery when you're uh, connected. So we actually have this mode on, you plug in USB type C cable to charge your device. What you get is something really unique. So my battery right now is at 89%. As you keep gaming with this uh, connected and set up, it doesn't charge your battery. It basically feeds power directly to the device. So you can game and uh, not actually drain your battery. So this helps with battery degradation, especially when you're gaming for long periods of time. So anyone who's gaming for an hour or two hours or three hours on the mobile device and actually wants to start charging and gaming at the same time, this is a unique and great feature. I love it because I just love the fact that it doesn't affect the battery of the device and I can game for an hour, I still have 89%, boom, I go on my way. And that's actually pretty cool. So I like that feature, I like it's actually pretty solid thing in here. Now, as gamers, you know, this is a PlayStation device. They just announced the PlayStation 5. And I think this trend will continue here with the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, the ability to use your PlayStation controller. It syncs quite seamlessly to this device. And also you can stream your PlayStation games directly to your smartphone with the remote app feature, being able to play Spider-Man. And again, I can't wait for that new Spider-Man with Miles Morales in there. Uh, but it, the ability to play it on your phone anywhere around the world is great. They're on-screen controls, but of course it's just best using your PlayStation controller. Plus you can use that controller to play Call of Duty Mobile as well. So Call of Duty Mobile fans, you can use that uh, on there. Now you guys also noticed I was able to use uh, my uh, Razer Kishi controller to play Fortnite. That works with this device as well. Yes, it does have a display that's about 6.5 inches, uh, but everything fits and works well. So those aspects are great. Now, when it comes to audio, stereo speakers are nice. They're clean and clear. You've also got that dynamic vibration. The one thing I don't like with the stereo speakers, they're not as loud as other speakers. I didn't do a, uh, a speaker test because the numbers came out really low. But I did like the clarity of the speakers. It's got Dolby Atmos as well. And I love the fact that this device, as thin as it is, still has a headphone jack, which is great. I can listen to, to music with either, either wirelessly uh, with my Sony uh, you know, 1001 Mark III's, or I can connect them wired to say something like my uh, Hi-Fi Mandiva, which also does Bluetooth as well. Don't sleep on these pair of headphones. They are really good. But the fact that I can connect them wired as well is a huge treat. I think this device, um, besides the photography features, which we'll get into in another video, which sound really good, as a smartphone and as a gamer, you're gonna get the full capabilities. It doesn't have 12 gigs of RAM or 16 gigs of RAM as some other devices may have. It's got eight and it works well. 
I had no issues with that. Uh, heat dissipation, what heat dissipation was great. Temperatures were much higher than I would like, but I did like the way it handled that well. So I think Sony has done a good job here, and I think a lot of people would like what this has to offer as a gaming device. Plus that feature where you can plug in your, your charger and it doesn't actually drain your battery. Uh, it doesn't charge or drain the battery, but you can just game through. It's a great feature. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II in terms of gaming. Also, what else would you like to see from this device? Any comparisons you care about? If you want to check some comparisons, let me know. I'll try and do that for you, but stay tuned. We will have a professional camera review from Marion Cell. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.